Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary. Of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. Our family tree. Our pedigree. Tragedy and hope. This family tree represents two members of the research group, Universal Center for Renovation. Our family tree. Our family tree represents my paternal grandfather, and paternal grandmother, my father's parents. In my father's paternal line, you have black Cherokee Indian. In my father's maternal line, in the family tree, you have Thomas Jefferson and Robert Fulton. Trail of Tears, 1830, North America. Six thousand men, women, and children died on the 1200 mile march. My family are survivors of this forced march. Indian removal. Indian removal was the United States government policy of forced displacement of self-governing tribes of Native Americans from their ancestral homelands in the eastern United States to lands west of the Mississippi River, specifically to a designated Indian territory, roughly present-day Oklahoma. The Indian Removal Act, the key law which authorized the removal of native tribes, was signed by Andrew Jackson in 1830. Although Jackson took a hard line on Indian removal, the law was enforced primarily during the Martin Van Buren administration. After the passage of the Indian Removal Act in 1831, Approximately 60,000 members of the Cherokee, Muskegee, Creek, Seminole, Chickasaw, and Choctaw nations were forcibly removed from their ancestral homelands, with thousands dying during the Trial of Tears. This awareness of Black Cherokees has never been mystery to any members of my family and the oral traditions and the migratory patterns is part of the history i was born in new york city my father was born in st louis missouri my grandfather 
was born in the state of Illinois, and my great-grandfather was born in Oklahoma. Documents have been attained that gives a date, 1830, of the actual presence of surname family. A member of the surname family that is efficient in genealogical research have told me that we still have family and property in Illinois and Oklahoma. Many years ago, I gave my copy of Ronald Sanders, Lost Tribes and Promised Lands to a member of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma for a review. We were in a conversation about the history of the Native American origins and if there was any proof to substantiate the Israelite origin of the indigenous peoples of the Americas. He was aware of my Cherokee family background, but I have a typically African-American phenotype and he had typical Native American phenotype. So I think it was reasonable at his point of view of the Native American Hebraic origin. But the question was, who was the natives of black origin? Are they natives, Africans, freemen, or slaves? How did black Cherokees fit to the picture? He didn't say this in actual words. He just left a message in the book when he returned the book. Lost tribes and promised lands. The Origins of American Racism by Ronald Sanders. The point indicated with brackets on page 55. Lost Tribes and Promised Lands The Origins of American Racism by Ronald Sanders Some Arab authors found sanction for the advancement of black slavery in Noah's outburst against his son Ham when he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren. This only singles out one of Ham's sons, but many Arabs and later many Christians too held that it condemned all of them to slavery. All I could do is shrug my shoulders and sigh in disbelief that he didn't have a traditional Native American point of view on the slavery issue. When a Choctaw, my brother, a Native American, use an 17th and 18th century Christian, not a biblical Christian, definition of slavery, I realized he didn't have a complete understanding of Native American history or biblical history. My grandfather's grandmother, she was Kickapoo, photo around 1880 to 1890. Even though my family was Black Cherokee, we have deep Native roots with more than one Native American nation, Kickapoo people from Wikipedia. The Kickapoo people are an Algonquin-speaking Native American and Indigenous Mexican tribe originating in the region south of the Great Lakes. The Kickapoo in Kansas came from a relocation from southern Missouri in 1832 as a land exchange from their reserve there. Around 3,000 people are enrolled tribal members today. Mexican Indian. My grandfather explained to me that Black Cherokee freedmen didn't originally face a form of chattu slavery. He had been passed down word-of-mouth traditions and customs. 
academic research also matches up with the stories told from the people who knew the customs that was followed by the people of that time. Sex and race in the New World Type of the First Mothers of Latin America Sex and Race, Volume 2, Page 4 Mongoyo Chemican, Indian Woman of Brazil Negro and Mongolian Strain Apparent The indigenous of the Americas were considered Negro. Mongolio, Chemican, woman of Brazil. World Book Encyclopedia American Indian American Indians are sometimes called red men or red skins, but their skin is not red. It is various shades of brown. Perhaps Indians were called red because some of them colored their bodies with red paint. California native before Columbus. Some Native Americans had a black phenotype from the book Africa's Gift to the Americas. Page 28. Author J.A. Rogers. Native American Indians, Children of Israel, 